Hello everyone, welcome to Edutarian and a warm good evening to you all. So in this session we are going to see yet another interesting program or scheme that again would be very important as part of your upcoming competitive examinations and that program or scheme is national bioenergy program now where would this be important now this would be important as part of your important reports or conferences under phase 1 and phase 2 as part of your regular current affairs and esa and ard current affairs now these are my credentials on so i have close to 7 plus years of experience in teaching the regulatory bodies examination students you can go through this later as well and before starting the session i have a huge announcement Currently, as I have been telling you again and again that at Edutarian, we are offering various courses for NABAD grade A, RBA grade B, etc. And as part of which and uh, based on the request that I have been receiving from students now, though we are offering a huge discount of 50% on all the courses. Okay, and you can use the code exam success 50 and avail this discount. This would be there for uh, three to four days. So you can hurry up and uh, you can take this, use this code for purchasing the courses. So with this, let me start today's session. So before you know going any further, let us look at two important definitions that you'd be coming across again and again. That is biogas and compressed biogas. Now, what is this biogas? This is a gas that is produced naturally through a process of anaerobic decomposition from waste or biomass sources like your agriculture residue, cattle dung, sugar cane, press mud, municipal solid waste, sewage treatment, plant waste, whatever the waste that is there, you will be doing that. The anaerobic decomposition would happen that is in the absence of oxygen, the decomposition with the microorganisms is done and whatever the gas that is generated during this decomposition process that is nothing but the biogas if you look at the pure biogas like your cattle dung from that if you take it you'll get close to 55 percent methane in that so which is inflammable highly inflammable that's the reason we use that for uh, you know for various in, uh, kitchen and all that and after purification this biogas can be compressed and this is called as a compressed biogas which has pure methane content of 95 percent whereas this biogas regular biogas you'll have close to 55 percent methane okay let me write it here 55 percent methane now as we have seen compressed gas uh, biogas is very much similar to the available natural gas that we use in terms of its composition and energy potential now it has a calorific value of 52000 kilojoules per kg that much energy it can release per kg and other properties similar to cng cbg which can be again used as alternative renewable automotive fuel now given the abundance of biomass that we have in our country in the form of this wastage etc agriculture waste and other wastage cbc uh, cbc has uh, cbg that is compressed biogas has potential to replace the compressed natural gas in automotive industrial and commercial uses and various companies are coming forward to apply this to their vehicles in the new model of engines now this can be produced by various biomass or waste sources that we have already seen especially organic waste agriculture waste even the industrial effluent treatment plants also this can be used to generate cbg now coming to our national bioenergy program now with the bio, uh, biogas and the definitions of cbg you must have already understood that we are focusing more on the generation of these and that's true national bioenergy program it is to help those uh, companies which are venturing out into the production of these now it is launched by the ministry of new and renewable energy government of india it was launched to be precise the date on november 2nd 2022 for a time period of five years and this would be running till 2025-26 to be precise it was started launched from 1-4-2021 it will go on till 31-3-2026 okay now various components of uh, uh, under this national bioenergy program have been launched long back but now all these they have been brought under one umbrella so that it would be easy for them to monitor its progress and see what more can be done now this all excuse me has been done with a total outlay of 17 15 crores and this would be implemented in two phases 
the first phase it has been already started and approved with a budgetary outlay of rupees 858 crores now what is the objective it supports the setting up of bioenergy plants by providing central financial assistance so here the central government would be providing the financial assistance to them how under the biomass program and waste to energy program component of this national bioenergy program the project developers can set up bioenergy projects anywhere in the country including all districts of the state of punjab and thereby they can help in generation of this biogas and compressed biogas now objective bhi ho gaya hamara clear now comes the sub schemes of the components there are three major components under this particular program one waste to energy program that we have just now seen no here the under this biomass program and waste to energy program component the project developers can uh, set up bioenergy projects etc okay we'll look into all the three components here so one waste to energy program which, which was earlier called as program on energy from urban industrial and agriculture waste or residues this program is to support setting up of large biogas bio cng and power plants excluding the regular ones to the power projects okay two second component biomass program earlier it used to be called as scheme to support manufacturing of briquettes and pellets uh, pellets and promotion of biomass non bagasse based cogeneration in industries that is whatever the this uh, biomass that is generated like your paddy straw wheat straw etc that would be compressed and made into briquettes or the pellets this would be used in co firing in thermal stations which coal jaise uh, generate karne ke liye firing hoti hai coal ka similarly they will use along with the coal these briquettes and pellets which again will help in generating the electricity this is to support setting up of pellets and briquettes for use in power generation and non bagasse based power generation projects bagasse is again a by product uh, that is extracted that we get during sugar produ uh, production from sugar cane juice okay now the third biogas program here this is the one that support this helps to support setting up of family and medium size biogas plants in rural areas so these are the three programs or the components under national bioenergy program now the first one waste to energy program we have already seen that uh, it was earlier called as program on energy from urban industrial agric uh, agriculture waste and municipal solid waste and this is in vogue since 2018 for recovery of energy in the form of biogas bio cng power from urban industrial agriculture waste and municipal solid waste now 2018 mein hua hai but now this has been brought under the umbrella of national bioenergy program for which a new guidelines have been launched and as part of which central financial assistance shall be made available to projects for setting up of large biogas bio cng and power plants excluding the msw2 power projects that is a regular power projects that we are not going to see only related to bio energy waste to energy uh, projects only now here the program provides central financial assistance to project developers and its service charges to implementing or inspection agencies in respect to successful commissioning of waste to energy plants for generation of biogas bio cng enriched biogas compressed biogas power or generate uh, generation of producer or the syngas <coughs> syngas is also composition where uh it's a by product during uh, power generation only one of the uh, very recently we have done this no that one coal gasification usme aata hai syn gas okay now what is the amount or the financial assistance that is provided so the financial assistance available under the prog under this program for setting up of waste to energy plants is bio cng or enriched biogas or compressed biogas ke liye hai to they'll be providing 4 crore per 4800 per kg matlab uh, utna capacity for bio cng generation from a new biogas plant agar wahi existing hai already established hai but now they are trying to uh, expand it or uh, renovate it and all that for that rupees 3 crores per 4800 kg per day 
capacity. This is for bio CNG generation from existing biogas. Maximum CFA in both the cases would be 10 crores per project. Okay. Now, as part of this waste to energy program, Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, it also has come forward for this in, uh, you know, especially on compressed biogas and that program is Satat. Sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation. It is a scheme of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas on compressed biogas and this particular program or the scheme envisages to target production of 15 million metric tons of CBG from 5000 plants by 2023 and as part of which how it will help to achieve this. Oil marketing companies have offered long term pricing on CBG to make projects bankable and have agreed to execute long term agreements on CBG. Uh, various organizations they, they come forward to generate for the generation of this compressed biogas but they should have a buyer also if they have ready market that would again create or create interest in them so that so here this oil marketing companies will make long term contracts with these CBG producing companies thereby they will have a ready made market bilkul market hai to inko bhi dar nahi lagta hai who those who are generating the CBG market mein kaha ja ke bechna and all that. For this, they are helping under this program. So, the bio CNG component of the program supports the Satat initiative of the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Okay, important. Now, when was this scheme uh, introduced in 2018 by the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas? To enhance the biogas manufacturing capacity and transform it into need for the automobile market through the utilization of funds from the possible investors and to, to help reduce the dependence on the import of fossil fuels. Now, when we go more uh, for more of biogas, uh, bio CNG, compressed biogas and all that from all from the waste only whatever that we, we, we generally consider as waste from that we are generating this. <coughs> Excuse me and we are using that so what will happen our dependence on the fossil fuels which we are importing because in india we have very very few resources for fossil fuels so we are importing a lot from the market so that we can reduce what will happen if we reduce that our foreign exchange but jayega and on the other hand we can focus uh, or divert all that money for various other developmental activities right so the objective of Satat scheme, India can reduce import of natural gas and diesel when we are, can rely on that biogas and CBG. Farmers and entrepreneurs can earn by setting up biogas plants and selling the gas produced. Using waste for biogas will manage the waste in a very eco-friendly manner. Will reduce pollution especially in villages. Neatness bhi bad jayega. Used as a fuel for vehicles, homes and industrial in remote areas where jaha pe ye fuel pahunchane ke liye jo whatever the uh, railway network road network all that will be using again that consumes lot of energy that can be brought down it reduces cost by cutting the import of fossil fuels the biogas production process can indirectly create employment right now how does this work this initiative invites expression of interest from potential entrepreneurs to establish cbg production plants providing an additional revenue source to the farmers because from them only they will be buying all this wastage it envisages the establishment of a CBG facility that would be shipped in cylinders to authorize gas stations across the country, for which again oil marketing companies come forward. Planning to utilize more than 62 MMT of waste generated every year in India. So it plans to build your 2023 that we were not able to do. Now we have extended that to 2025. So it plans to build 5000 CBG facilities by 2025 and it is expected to produce 15 million tons of compressed biogas naturally annually which is about 40 percent of the current cng consumption of 44 million tons per annum in the country so we are not targeting 100 percent currently at least 2025 50 40 percent capture le, then also will save a lot and they are saying that it will uh, have scope to employ 45,000 people in its establishments and along with that RBI has also notified the loans to startups up to rupees 50 crores for setting up compressed biogas plants are included under the priority sector lending. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this will help the banks also to complete their priority sector lending targets. At the same time, 
because since they are being considered as PSL, the interest rates will come down for the loanies. Okay. Now, how the business model work? The business model has been framed by the oil marketing companies and are indicated in the letter of intent issued to these entrepreneurs. CBG plans are proposed to be set up mainly through independent entrepreneurs who will be responsible for planning and execution of the project including the sourcing of raw materials, operation and maintenance of plant along with the maintaining the final product output quantity as well as quality. All this would be the responsibility of these independent entrepreneurs only. Okay. Now the CBG produced at these plants will be transported by the letter of intent holders through cascades of cylinders or pipeline to the fuel station networks of these oil marketing companies for marketing as a green transport fuel alternative. So till the time it is produced that would be the responsibility of the organization obviously because they are the ones who are producing. After that it would be transported to the oil marketing companies now their responsibility is marketing. Here only production tak hai inka entrepreneurs ka. After that marketing was a headache oil marketing companies ka hai. The 1500 plus CNG stations network in the country currently serves about 32 lakh gas based vehicles which can be used for this purpose. Now they can use this for those vehicles. See for example ek yaha pe diya hai okay how uh, IRED ke pa policy ke hesaap se karenge. So CBG compressed biogas under satat subsect eligibility. Entrepreneurs where unko 100% off take guarantee mil gaya hai or uh, the tenor of agreement is more than the loan duration because loans bhi hai na iske liye. legally binding contract for purchase of raw materials if all these they have and they are fulfilling the prevailing the uh, this is um, renewable energy development authority unke norms or guidelines agar fulfill kar rahe hai, then they will be providing the loan to these people again under PSL up to 50 crores PSL mein hi aata hai priority sector lending loan tenure would be up to 10 years excluding moratorium and construction period or 80% of the life of the contract agreement for the sale of CBG whichever is less they will take that moratorium kitna hai moratorium mein excluding kiya hai that would be of 1 year construction period they will take 1 and a half year debt equity ratio 70 is to 30 ok that is debt 70% 30% at least they have to put their money 30% of the amount that is 70 hai to 70% of the project cost obviously that would be provided interest rates upfront equity and all other terms and conditions as per the IREDA only now primary security jo bhi unka movable immovable assets wo sab hai that would be taken up jo bhi wo organization set up kar rahe hai collateral security sometimes they take like pledging of shares personal guarantee corporate guarantee etc in case they don't uh, uh, find agar wo bilkul naye hai us business mein in terms of the definitely they'll go for this otherwise generally already established business hai unka so they generally take up primary security only baaki jo general conditions unke hisab se this this will keep on changing as per the lender abhi to yahan ireda ka mujhe mil gaya tha to i just wanted to highlight how it is done agar koi aur bank hai to unke apne rules ke hisab se rahega it all depends okay that's why I'm not going to go into detail. Jo hume basic chahiye tha, that we have covered. To ho gaya waste to energy first one. Under that ek satat program they are running. Again, dusri ministries bhi help kar rahe hai. Dusra humara aata hai biomass program. So here, this program again earlier it was run as program to promote biomass power and bagas se co-generation in the country. Since the 1990s, us time se ye hai. After that, Biomass based cogeneration program it was launched in 2018 cogeneration kyun because along with the one product they are trying to come up with this product as at par with that. So here baga se jo by product hai sugar production mein that they are trying to keep it at par. So was under implementation of the objective of promoting cogeneration for optimum use of the country's biomass resources through co-generation technology in sugar mills and other industries like rice, paper mills, wahan pe bhi biomass generation hota hai, jaise paddy mills hai, rice aa gaya, uske baad jo husk wo sab hota hai, that also can be used. How? 
that can be converted into pellets or briquettes again and can be used for the co-firing in the thermal station. So, kai sare aise by products hai that you can uh, use them at par with the regular main product. Okay. The program which earlier focused on co-generation will now support the manufacturing of pellets and briquettes for the use in power generation. So, the same thing now they have expanded its scope that is it simple terms. Okay. So, this scheme will support the implementation of the national mission on co-firing of biomass in thermal pla power plants. This will enable a reduction in the practice of the stubble burning particularly in the northern states of the state country. So, <coughs> excuse me, this is Punjab, hai, Haryana hai, and uh, uh, a few places from UP which are close to Delhi. What they do? Stubble burning they do. Okay, That can be avoided if anyone can buy that all that material that bio whatever the biomass that is straw and convert that into pellets and briquettes that can be used in this co-firing thermal power plants okay so under the new guidelines as we have said 1990 se hi hai ye, change hua hai. one of the major changes is you know, scope bada diya hai. like going for pellets or briquettes manufacturing uh, companies that have been brought under its purview now no the uh, changes me kya hai. So, central financial assistance shall be made available to projects for setting up of pellets and briquettes for use in power generation and non bagasse based power generation projects. Okay, how it is done? Scheme to support manufacturing of briquettes and pellets and promotion of biomass non bagasse based co generation in industries. Objective to support setting up of such projects in industries in the country. That is their objective. It provides a CFA to project developers and services charges to implementing agencies and inspection agencies in respect of setting up of briquette or pellet manufacturing plants and biomass non bagasse co generation projects in industries. Now, how that would be given? CFA hame to pata hi hai, right? It would be given this for briquette or pellet manufacturing plants. Briquettes or pellets, kya hai, what they do? They compress, they make them into small, 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 small pieces. And itne chote chote size ke briquettes type ke banate hai, chote chote hote hai. Okay, itne size ke hote hai. Okay, uh, rupees 9 lakh per metric ton per hour manufacturing capacity. For them, they will be providing a maximum CFA of 45 lakhs per plant. Biomass non bagasse co generation projects ke liye, they will be providing 40 lakhs per megawatt install capacity for which maximum CFA would be 5 crores per project. And how this would be done? All the applications to be accepted through online portal only Bio Urja portal. Self funded projects will also be eligible for this. Kahi baare saote bootstrapped hote hai companies they uh, get their own funding. Kahi aur se nahi lete hai. Might be they have uh, koi support hai unka earlier organization se koi aur. Kuch kahi saare existing wale hote hai na. Naye unhi ka ek expansion business mein. For them also CFA is available. SCADA system or the remote monitoring system has been mandated for the biomass project. So, isme kya hai? Everything would be real time online basis. Plants installed with new equipment and machinery only shall be eligible for CFA under this program. As an AK koi existing wala already hai. And now they want to uh, go for loan. That's not possible. Ye new hona chahiye. N plant installed with new equipment and machinery only. Koi purana wala machinery dalenge, that will not work. Okay. Now, the performance inspection agencies for biomass projects would be for briquette or pellet manufacturing plants, concerned state nodal agencies for renewable energy or the Sardar Swaran Singh National Institute for Bioenergy. Inka hai for biomass or non that is non bagasse co generation project jaha pe bagasse nahi baaki sab hota jaise rice uh, mill se aise kuch concerned state nodal agency and sardar swaran singh national institute of bioenergy okay again first the project with debt or loan from financial institutions or banks the ministry shall in, in issue a in principle approval okay to them from the ministry of new and renewable energy and jaha pe koi loan already nahi hai then they will uh, examine and put up the applications to the project appraisal committee following which the ministry yaha pe ek aur extra channel ke through aana padega simple waha pe directly ministry issue karegi jaha pe already loans hai jaha pe loans nahi hai they have to come through the PAC and then they have to come up now the time period for commissioning is 12 months for briquette or pellet manufacturing plants and 24 months for bio 
मास और नॉन बगैर से कोजनरेशन प्लांट्स फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ इन प्रिंसिपल अप्रूवल वहाँ से दे हैव टू स्टार्ट वर्किंग ओके नाउ अंडर दिस सेकेंड प्रोग्राम दैट इज बायोमास प्रोग्राम देर इज वन स्पेशल मिशन दैट इज बींग रन एंड दैट इज समर्थ मिशन रन बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर समर्थ मिशन इज नेशनल मिशन ऑन यूज ऑफ बायोमास इन थर्मल पावर प्लांट सो दिस इज इन सपोर्ट of the biomass uh, component under the national bioenergy program it was launched in 2021 the major objective is to address issue of air pollution due to farm stubble burning and to reduce carbon footprints of the thermal power generation because we are trying to co fire the pellet the pellets briquettes that are being generated from the biomass for promoting the blending of biomass in the existing coal powered thermal power plants ब्लेंडिंग ऑफ बायोमास वही है को फायरिंग एक्सक्यूज मी नाउ एज पर द रिवाइज पॉलिसी ऑन एट टेन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन फॉर द यूज ऑफ एग्रो रेसिड्यूज बायोमास इन थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स एंड मैंडेटेड यूज ऑफ फाइव परसेंट बायोमास पेलेट्स मेड प्राइमरीली ऑफ एग्रो रेसिड्यूज अलॉन्ग विथ कोल विथ इफेक्ट फ्रॉम वन ईयर ऑफ द डेट ऑफ इश्यूएंस ऑफ द पॉलिसी सो एटलीस्ट फाइव परसेंट तो उनको यूज करना ही है वन ईयर तो हो गया है सो so, now that has been implemented all round now it has increased from 57 to 5% to 7% so since 2020 see 8 10 2021 so 2022 uh, october tak yahi chala 5% but now it is 7% till 2024 october ab iske baad ka abhi kuch aaya nahi hai how much they are going to increase okay so jitna bhi thermal for example 100 uh, tons chahiye मतलब 100 टन्स दे आर यूजिंग फॉर पावर जनरेशन ऑफ दैट 100 टन्स 7 टन्स शुड बी फ्रॉम दिस पेलेट्स और ब्रिकेट्स ऑफ बायोमास ओनली दैट इज व्हाट दिस दिस पॉलिसी हैज टू सी ओके नाउ द थर्ड प्रोग्राम और द कंपोनेंट दैट इज द बायोगैस प्रोग्राम सो हियर दे हेल्प इन प्रमोटिंग इंस्टॉलेशन एंड स्मॉल बायोगैस प्लांट्स एंड दिस हैज बीन इन वोग सिंस नाइनटीन एंड National Biogas Program for providing clean gaseous fuel for cooking and lighting purposes in rural areas. Similarly, for medium-sized biogas plants in the capacity range of 25 meter cube to 2500 meter cube per day biogas generation, for decentralized power generation and thermal energy applications in the range of 3 to 250 kilowatts, that has been supported by MNRE since the year 2005-2006. 1981 से 2005-6 तक only small biogas plants were promoted, but after that, since 2005-2006, they have increased the they have started uh, helping promoting installation of medium size biogas plants that include 25 meter cube to 2500 meter cube. उससे छोटे less than 25 meter cube that would be small biogas plant. Large biogas plants that would fall above two thousand five hundred meter cube per day of biogas generation. Okay. Now under this new scheme, which was launched in two thousand twenty two, the scope of the scheme has been revised with enhanced financial assistance for setting up of biogas plants from one to two thousand five hundred cubic meter biogas per day. So, ऐसा नहीं है कि medium size वालों को support करेंगे. They will support the small. and medium sized biogas plants okay so here a concessional custom duty certificates are also issued for setting up of projects for generation of compressed biogas using urban and industrial waste of renewable nature so biogas program may they are also going for compressed biogas generation as well okay now till here we have done the national bioenergy program under which we have seen three components we have seen that how it works what kind of central financial assistance is uh, being provided to the uh, newbies uh, where they want to start their own ventures right now very recently there's another current affair that you have to know and that is about a symposium it's a, uh, it's close to workshop only a one day symposium was conducted on compressed biogas in western uttar pradesh as you can see here june 22nd ko hua tha ye and uh, venue was in uh, muzaffar uh, nagar up wahan pe hua tha and again this would be important as part of your 
regular current affairs and ESA current affairs under uh, phase 1 and phase 2 both. Now, what did they do as part of this symposium and why is it important for us as part of the current affairs? Now, this uh, uh, symposium was you not know, to understand the scope of compressed biogas generation in UP as such. So, this symposium was jointly organized by the Center for Science and Environment and the Uttar Pradesh New and Renewable Energy Development Agency. It is completely state affair. Okay, when you we have seen Muzaffar Nagar UP and what was the objective to discuss the challenges facing the compressed biogas industry in the state and the way ahead because there is lot of scope uh, in UP for compressed biogas generation. Why? Because UP is one such country which tops in dairy. Whenever we talk about dairying, obviously there is lot of biomass or waste generation in the form of dung etc. And also it is one such state where uh, a lot of wheat and paddy is grown which again generates good amount of biomass. So, Uttar Pradesh accounts for 24 percent of the total CBG generation potential in India. So, Baki India ek taraf and UP ka ek taraf. So, you can understand the kind of potential that it offers. According to the CSE's latest report, UP alone can install 1000 CBG projects out of 5000 under the Satat scheme. Just now we have covered this 2025 tak pure India mein hume 5000 CBG plants install karna hai. Of that it seems 1000 can alone be installed in UP alone. So, if there are also there is a catch over here, if even a mere 20% of its surplus feedstock is tapped. As an ki pura ka pura biomass they are going to use here. Even if they can tap 20% of the feedstock, even then they would be able to generate to or to launch or install 1000 compressed biogas projects in UP. Western UP especially Muzaffar Nagar, Meerat, Saharanpur, Bijnor, Bulansher and Aligarh leads in feedstock availability as well as maximum number of functional and upcoming CBG plants in UP. That's the reason they have selected Muzaffar Nagar to uh, conduct this symposium. Despite leading the way in bioenergy sector in India, UP uh, still faces lots of challenges, especially from limited offtake of the bio slurry generated during the production of CBG. Why? Because lack of knowledge, bio slurry, this is one of the rich nutrient rich manures that you can use for your crops. Okay, and also lack of trained uh, personnel. UP has taken the lead in this sector with its ambitious bioenergy policy, which it has, allocating 750 crores for CBG for a period of five years, while providing subsidies, land for lease, and other incentives so that people can come forward to launch these initiatives. Okay, so with this. We have done a lot about bioenergy program at central level and how UP is going to contribute keeping in view the kind of potential that it has to offer, right. So, before winding up, before giving you the answers for day before yesterday's questions, I have a small or not small huge announcement I should say. Currently, I am off, uh, at editor and we are offering various courses uh, at flat 50 percent or I would not say flat 50 percent at a 50 percent off and you can use the code exam success 50 uh, to avail this coupon. Okay, So, you can go through the free content and after that you can make a, a decision. So, homework question kya tha? we have done RUSA scheme that is Rashtri Uchitar Shiksha Abhiyan scheme. This was renamed as a Pradhan Mandri Uchitar Shiksha Abhiyan when in 2023 and they have uh, even revamped the scheme as well that we have already discussed. Recommendation of institutions in focus district shall be done by the state higher education uh, council and finalized by the state government. It is not true, it is false because though the recommendation would be done by the state higher education council, but at the end of the day this would be finalized by the central government right for the loans and all that. Now homework questions for today. Which state accounts for 24 percent of the total compressed biogas generation potential in India? This is the first question for you. Second question is RBI has also notified that loans to startups up to 75 crores for setting up of CBG plants are included under PSLM. You have to tell me which is a true or false statement. For these answers, 
you can comment in the comment section or uh, we can discuss the answers in the next class okay so with this i'm winding up the session if you have any queries you know where to reach out to me you can reach out to me on various social media handles like your telegram or the app itself or the live sessions anywhere okay hope you have enjoyed the session thank you very much have a great day ahead please take good care of yourself bye bye